Well, hello there, life path number nine. How is everyone? I started recording your video and then decided to check halfway. Um, and it had, you know, stopped recording. So I'm having to redo your reading. Okay. So basically life path number nine, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing wonderful. And um, the energy that I got in that other reading as I started and it, it just kept, you know, came to me as I started your reading was, I was asking you guys, I'm like, how is everybody not doing this year? I hope everyone is still keeping safe. Um, and I was talking about COVID-19 and I said, I don't understand what the heck is going on with all the COVID-19, you know, crap that we're seeing, because I know people who've taken the first second shot of the vaccine and the booster shots and they're still sick as crap from this thing so i don't know is it the variants like the variants will be endless at this point so i don't know so from there i started you know delving into the energy that i got before your reading life part number nine and it was the energy of deception i got it you know deception around you i don't know if you're the one or maybe somebody around you, but I got the energy of somebody not being honest, not being truthful, not being transparent, not showing you, showing you the, their true self, you know, their authentic self, or somebody just generally being deceptive, okay? Can you hear that? The siren? Uh, confirming? Okay. So anyway, I got that energy, okay? Um, so that's something that, you know, maybe it's happening right now, will happen, or something, whatever has happened. You know, maybe somebody's been deceptive around you. Maybe somebody is right now. You need to be careful and, you know, be on the lookout or whatever. Okay. Life part number nine. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, part, you know, part of the message that came to me about life part number nine when I was asking. Right. Like, they're like, life part number nine. Do you sometimes feel like the odd man out? All right. Because the nine energy is a... A very powerful energy. It's an energy of endurance. Okay. Do you sometimes feel as if, you know, um, you're alone, in, you know, in a particular situation or, you know, maybe you're carrying too much weight on your shoulder or, you know, like, you know, you have a lot of people depending on you. Do you ever feel like you're being um, weighed down? You feel like in your private moment that, um you know, you're probably going through some things in your private moments that you're not sharing with people. I got that energy come through. Um, and Spirit just saying to tell life part number nine that, um, you know, what it doesn't matter what has happened in the past, that it's okay for you to let it go. You cannot take the past into the future. Um, and even if some of you have encountered any sort of deception or deceptive energy in your past, spirit is also saying to let that be in the past. There's a strong message about renewal that you need to go through, all right? And spirit was like, you know, total renewal, not just renewal, okay? The total transformation, renewal. Some of you haven't even started this process. Some of you are in the process already. Some of you are, you know, maybe almost done with this process, all right? But there is a transformation that you have to, like, complete. And it looks like whatever is holding you back from completing this cycle has to do with the past, which, you know, spirit is like, you know, we have to leave the past in the past okay we have to leave the past in the past and you know just okay another message was that to let my life part number nine know that it is okay to start afresh it is okay to start anew all right it's okay to begin again to start from the scratch it's okay to feel like you know um you have to start something again all right uh, it's like it's okay to to start over i don't know who that message is for you know but it's okay to start over i don't know some of you what are you going through my beautiful life at number nine it's been a minute all right so let's tap into the energy your general energy all right um i mean since the last time we spoke life part number nine and i do have an energy right here that speaks for itself it says hopelessness it's a you know hopeless Pessimism, despondence, and somebody feeling defeated in a situation. 
Is that you or someone in your energy? Is someone being comforted, restored, consoled, nourished? I don't know why I felt the need to also talk about COVID-19 and, you know, protocols and all that. So some of you might be going through this. Some of you might need to be careful. And I'm also seeing kids getting sick and, you know, um, having to nurture some kids. For some of you who have kids, I know that that message is not for everyone. Even not for everyone who has kids. Because I'm seeing children, you know. So some of you need to watch out for your kids. All right? I'm getting that energy strongly. Wow. 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 Look at that. Hey, this is an energy of worry. And a mother taking care of their kid. Wow. I told you I saw an image, right? I saw the vision right now. In, in my mind's eye. You know, I just saw it. Boom. So anyway... Um, this is talking about concerned, troubled, uneasy. Is this a, a, a past energy, a present energy, or a future energy? You have to, you know, be careful, you know, um, not to also allow yourself to dwell in this energy. But this is spirit's way of also letting you know um, not to, you know, be too worried. Your loved ones will be fine for some of you who are experiencing this right now. Um, some of you, like I said in the beginning of this reading, about do you ever feel like you're trapped? You're carrying all the weight on your shoulders. Um, you know, feel you feel overwhelmed, in prison, like you can't go anywhere with your responsibilities. I got that message for my life path number nine. Okay, so that was a specific message that I got before your reading, and it's coming out here of somebody who feels trapped, who feels you know cornered. I am stuck in a situation. Some of you, this might be a family situation. Some of you, this might be a romantic situation. Some of you, this might be work situation. Some of you, this might be a business still. It could be anything, all right? Some of you, are, you know, are feeling depressed, all right? Because we're picking up the energy. Is this a past energy, present or future? It's something you have to watch out for. It talks about somebody who feel, who is feeling empty and numb and withdrawn. I did pick up that energy of deception. It was very strong energy. It came through as an energy of somebody who was impersonating somebody else. Somebody who was showing up as who they are not. Or somebody who will deceive someone to... Um, I don't know how to explain how it was shown to me. Um, somebody who will deceive someone to attract them. Okay? And then when you, when you get attracted, you just doing your own thing. And then boom, you're attracted and you're like... Um, all right, then at the end of innocently at the end of it all, you're like, what the heck? You know, I didn't even know, like, but meanwhile, the person had been plotting and planning and just doing all sorts, but you do have divine protection. Okay. I see an energy of inspiration and spirit telling you it's okay to start again. It's okay to start afresh. It's okay to keep going for those of you who don't need to start afresh. It's okay to keep going. This is spirit's way of telling you I'm inspiring you and I'm you know telling you keep moving. All right. I'm stimulating you right now. I'm challenging you to keep moving. Don't give up. All right. You can do it. I'm giving you the energy of inspiration. You have it within you. You have it in your energy this month. All right. Or at least a month from whenever you, you click on watch on this video. Okay. A month at least. There's, this energy is activated. You just have to like, you know, bask in that in that um, um, euphoria. Right. Or is it bask in the euphoria? I don't know. It could be different pronunciation for US and um, UK. All right. So I'm sure you understand where I'm going with this. Now, there's an energy of being grateful. All right, so this is an energy that spirit is encouraging you to dwell in. Uh, an energy of thankfulness, appreciation, and feeling blessed. Feeling the blessings in your energy. Feeling all the blessings that spirit has um, done. Every, like all the goodness in my life is what I'm hearing. Like I, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing, um, Name your blessings and count them one by one. And you'll be surprised at what God has done. So no matter what you've gone through in the past, whatever it is that you've passed through, um, Spirit just wants you to know that, you know, that's in the past. And it happened for a reason. It happened to, you know, ensure your renewal because I got a very strong message of renewal for some of you. Okay. 
let's just see if we can get any messages around love this one wanted to desperately and it's talking about separation wow it talks about time apart from your partner is on the horizon for some of you might be you know i'm picking up the energy of quarrel arguments not seeing eye to eye not agreeing on things um disagreements happening misunderstandings so this is an energy that you need to watch out for, right? For some of you, it doesn't really have to be any type of, you know, separation happening in your in your relationship, actual one. For some of you, it is, all right? But, you know, I'm just picking up that energy, you know, be mindful of not being pulled into, like, you know, quarrels by your partner, all right? Um, you know, don't, don't let them provoke you to a point where, because I'm looking at... You know, and I'm what I'm seeing is different from what it, what is in the picture, and I'm seeing like a devil, the devil behind, like just you know, like deceiving someone or trying to attract, or, you know, deceive someone to start a quarrel in in your relationship. For those of you who are in a relationship, just be mindful of that energy of you know that deceptive energy is coming through in this way again. In, in terms of you know, if some of you are in a relationship, all right. So um, another message is a message of engagement for some of you. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some of you, you do have engagement in your energy. So some of you, you know, um, might be getting this engagement. Some of you may have had it. Some of you may be looking forward to it. But definitely energy that, you know, I'm picking up from your energy. Okay. So um, definitely your energy. So I'm not, I'm sure it's not everyone who's thinking about engagement or who is engaged or getting engaged or some of you might have recently gotten engaged. Congrats. If that's you. Okay. Cause that message just came through too. So, um, some of you may be, um, looking forward to an engagement or, okay. I'm also hearing, well, for those of you who this is related to business, I'm also hearing business engagements. All right, so maybe there's something that you're looking forward to for some of you. All right, I'm picking that energy of, you know, anticipation. Somebody who is anxious about something, you know. There's something about make the effort here. And it says great love is what taking the steps you're guided to take. Some of you, I feel like, are being guided to take some steps. Some of you, you know, you know when you go, suddenly you book a ticket and you fly out to vacation somewhere then you meet you meet the love of your life for some of you i'm picking that energy strongly i'm not saying go book a ticket i'm just picking that energy for those of you who have something like that planned you know it might happen for some of you there's something about you deserve you deserve love oh my goodness you deserve love and this is the c now you know validate validating what i said earlier before i you know pulled this card uh, you know i'm that's what i saw um about tra somebody traveling overseas and you know hooking up or meeting somebody you know so it's saying something about your lovable meeting the love of their life all right um some energy here about playfulness maybe on your trip i don't know for some of you there's an energy of being playful or needing to be it talks about to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and this says heart to heart conversation needs to happen for some of you um in your relationships business or otherwise even in your love life maybe your partnerships maybe in your um, marital life your serious relationship life your situationship life um your family sister brother there's somebody needing a heart-to-heart -heart conversation some of you i'm also picking up the energy this may have crossed your mind that you need to do this i'm picking that energy maybe for some of you who feel like okay i'm also picking up the energy of some of you who are also um, getting conflict around family. I'm picking up a lot of energy around family because I'm seeing a lot of energy around kids and they are showing me stormy water happening around. Maybe some for some of you, it's a family situation. All right. Um, but some of you, for your romance, even for your family life, looks like something that is lost is lost. Right? What is dead may never die. Isn't that what they said in... Um, what what series was that on HBO? Was it Game of Thrones? What is dead may never die. All right? Or something. I don't know. Like live the past in the past. I'm getting that energy strong. I don't know why. All right. So let's keep going because I do have a few um, cards. But a lot of your messages came intuitively. Anyway, you just kept pouring in even before I turned your camera on. All right. So... 
There's something about boats. I'm seeing travel again, overseas, whatever. But here it's talking, it's talking about receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closure, issues. And the message that came out about number nine that I was trying to tell you guys earlier was that, you know, from spirit, like number nine, do you ever feel like you're isolated, you're alone, like that loner? Like nine is definitely an um, even number, right? Right? No, is it an odd number? I don't know. Like, I'm not thinking straight. So, anyway, um, it's an odd number. So, um, and you know, like, when there are pairs, right? There's two, 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 then there's eight. And, of course, there's this one who that is the nine. So, you might always ha feel that, that you're, you know, like, kind of isolated. You know, like, you're not part of a group. Even when you're in a group or in a family dynamic, you might feel that energy of, you know, you're not necessarily a part of it. Like, even though you are. All right, some of you also are picking up the energy, maybe isolating yourself from your own families, all right, from your own friend circle, from your business partners, from people that you work with. You know, I'm getting the energy of isolation, okay? Um, but here it talks about heart with the key. So it looks like some of you, of course, I'm getting a very strong love energy. Um, this talks about welcoming love. Some of you, like I said, may be traveling. Some of you may be going on a cruise. For some of you, I don't know. If you were thinking about booking a vacation, I don't know. I'm not telling you go book anything, but I'm just saying I'm picking that energy up for some of you. And if you want to run with that, with faith, it might happen for you. I don't know. All right. But I wish everybody all the best. It's the heart holding a key or heart that can be unlocked with a key. All right. A heart that has found, you know, it's key. All right. And it's talking about open your heart. So whatever this is, when you meet whoever this person is, or some of you are in, in, in that relationship right now, it's really telling you, open your heart, all right? Um, and for some of, some people here, there's an energy of not enough. It's not Somebody not feeling good enough, not feeling, you know, adequate enough for somebody. I'm picking that energy strongly. And let me read. It says, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy, um, nine is a very heavy energy for me. All right. It's always that energy of one more step and I'm done. All right. One more step. It, it's usually an energy of closure, like an energy of something ending, completing. All right. Um, it's usually an energy of success. So whether, you know, it doesn't matter what you go through, you will always succeed. The only thing is that you have to climb that nine steps to get to the 10th, right? So life path number nine, do you feel like you're climbing a stairs and you have all the weight of the world on your shoulder? Um, because I'm feeling that energy strongly. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, Lord God. Okay, let's see quickly. If we can pick up any other messages from here. Am I seeing anything that is turned over? All right, so we have the dragon fly spirit. It talks about change. All right, change needing to happen. I talked about renewal earlier on. You know, I talked about, you know, transformation. All right, the butterfly, the dragon fly, they all go through that change, the renewal. But there's something special about the dragon fly. Um, it's a very rare, um, you know, fly creature. It's not something you just jump into and when people see it, they always you know talk about you know change maybe there's change something gonna change in their um circle so i'm getting you know um you know the energy that um it's okay all right i'm reading from the book all right and it's saying that it's letting you know that it's okay all right to change direction that's the same energy we got earlier on about it's okay to start afresh. It's okay to begin. It's okay to keep going. It's okay to do something, right? Um, and it says you do not need to be consistent at every turn. This is the first, you know, time to put the tradition and expectations of others aside. Instead, you are called to create your own traditions. You're free to, to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Awesome. I said it, you know, I, I had that feeling of somebody who's gotten to that ninth step. You just need one more step and you can fly. Don't give up for some of you who are going through some things, okay? All right, life path number nine. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to close your reading with an Archangel Michael prayer card. Let's see what came out. It talks about new beginnings. Wow. Didn't we just finish talking about it's okay to start afresh? New beginnings and fresh start. All right, here's your prayer if you want to repeat after me in life at number nine. 
Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. All right, you see where it says release, heal my past. This reading started by me telling you to heal your past, right? That it doesn't matter what you've gone through in the past. It doesn't matter what you've experienced. It's okay to release, all right? It is a heavy load, I agree. Some of you, this whole reading is about your family, all right? Your immediate, it could be your extended. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but it, some, some of you, it's whole, whole, you know, like all the reading is about family for you. Some of you, it's not. Some of you, it's work-related. Some of you, it's about your relationship, all right? Anyway, life path number nine, I hope this was helpful um, in guiding you um, in, in the right, you know, it, on your journey in the right direction. Um, if there's any way I can help you, my email information, contact information is in the description box below the video. Um, until next time, remember to do the needful by, you know, sending and exchanging your energy with me by either liking, subscribing, sharing this video or leaving a comment. I love to read from you guys. I mean, how else would I know I'm doing the right thing? I might wake up one day and stop reading completely because I'm like, they're not interacting. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading for 20 people, 30 people, and they, they watch and just, you know, go. So maybe I don't need to do it. So you guys need to please encourage your reader, all right? Okay, guys, until next time, this is Healing Hands. Bye, life path number nine.